My name is Max Barrows. I'm Outreach Coordinator for Green Mountain Self-Advocates. I want to talk to you about managing your own services. In the disability community, many people get services through an agency. But some are learning how to manage their own services. <clears throat> Even though there are challenges that come with it, it is worth a try. One of the challenges of self-managing your own services is hiring, supervising, and evaluating an employee. So, we would like to give you some good information. Sometimes, you get lucky finding somebody. Other times, it can be very hard. Make sure that it's somebody you can get along with and who best fits your needs. From my experience, I used a method called networking. This is when you talk to people in your life about what you need. In my case, I ended up hiring someone I knew from when I was in school. There seems to be several barriers to finding the right person. One of them is finding someone who is willing to work part-time. Another is finding someone who can work a flexible schedule. For example, my schedule can vary from week to week. The most important thing in this process is to know your disability and what you need for accommodations. Next, you have to create a job description. A job description outlines the tasks and expectations you have for your potential employee. This would include your accommodations that you want them to put into action. After you completed a job description, you need to get the word out that you are looking to hire. For me, I used a networking method. Advertising is another way to find an employee. After creating an ad, you can post it in the newspaper. You can also post ads on bulletin boards in your community or on the internet such as www.rewardingwork.org. If a person wants to apply for a job, you need to have them send you a res resume. Excuse me. If the person doesn't have one, have them fill out an application. Now you are on the interviewing process. During the interviewing process, it is best to have a set of questions. You want to know if the person has experience around persons with disabilities. This is so you can find out if they will best fit your needs. Next, it is important to check the references of the person you are hiring. Eris will take care of the payroll. It is very important to keep in mind that no new employees can be paid before they have a background check. Now that you have the person that you want to hire, or have hired, it is your job to supervise them. Are they following the expectations of the job written in the job description? Are they meeting your needs, such as your accommodations? This is an area where feedback is important to give, both positive and negative. Sometimes you may have to provide training for your employee. I personally haven't had much experience in this area, 
but I believe that evaluations of employees can be important. Evaluation is a way for you to keep track of the level of performance. It is also used to help determine where strengths and weaknesses of the employee are. This process typically happens within six months to a year when the employee is hired. Previously, we discussed hiring an employee. We mentioned finding someone who can best fit your needs through an interviewing process. Now you're in the long term. If the person you hired is someone you are satisfied with, you want to keep them. One thing to keep in mind is there can be a lot of turnover. To make sure this doesn't happen, you need to treat your employee with respect and make sure they are paid well. Managing your services, managing your own services, can be a challenging, but it can be worth the opportunity to take charge of your life. I truly hope this information is helpful for those who are thinking about managing their own services. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on a future video.